Welcome back to RunnerG.com. Oh, oh, got my glasses on. Uh, this is going to be on five reasons your running training, running performance is not improving. You're focusing on your goal, which is maybe a particular time for a race, uh, a marathon or something like that. And it's great to have a goal. There's nothing wrong with that. But the, the problem is once you have the goal, you need to really be focusing on what it takes to get that goal. Are you, are you focusing on what is the, the distances you need to be running? Uh, what, are the, what is the pace that you need to be running at? What is the effort level that you need to be running at on a specific run to get that goal? So that's what you, once you have set a goal, which should be determined by like maybe a time trial or something like that, uh, you should be focusing on what it is that you need to do to accomplish that goal and be very, very specific. The more specific you can be, the better. Okay, so that's the first thing. And as your training goes, you may change your goal according to how your training is going. Okay, all right, that's number one. Number two is posture, all right? Um, your posture, in my opinion, is key. You need to have good posture. There is no reason, there is no reason to be running, to go from six miles to eight miles on a training run if you can't do six miles with really good posture, okay? All right, the whole key is, is to be keeping good posture, good running form, and building up mileage, maintaining that good running form and posture, okay? Uh, if you are at a race and you see someone that you know you're competing with and you see their body posture not look so good, you know you are gaining on them. You know, if you're, you know, you're gonna get them, all right? So that's how important having good running form is, okay? So make sure your running form is kind of one of your main things that you focus on when you're training. So that's number two. Number two, we're getting on there. Number three, hydration. Okay, it's only been, I don't know, 95 degrees the last month or so, and I still don't see anybody out there, very few people running with bottles in hand. Really, really, come on guys. You, you need to have some hydration. It, it, if you're out there and your skin is wet, you're sweating, that means you're depleting. You need to be replenishing yourself with hydration, okay? With more than just water, you need electrolytes, okay? So that's really simple. Get a bottle, figure out how you're gonna carry it. No one likes to carry hydration. It's always a pain, no one likes it, okay? You gotta carry it around your waist, you gotta carry it on your back, you gotta carry it in your hands somewhere. But it's worth it, you need to do that or you won't be training as good as you could because you're straining your muscles and your heart uh, because you're not giving it the electrolytes that they need. Okay, number three, hydration. All right, number four, rest. Okay, rest. This one's always borderline comical. I hope I said that right. Okay, I mean, it actually like makes me laugh. Okay, if you, if you just did a race over the weekend, please, please don't do speed workouts that week. Okay, it, it, it makes no sense, okay? Unless your, your goal, maybe your end goal, is to get injured, that's it. That must be what it is. You must, your goal plan is to get injured. If that's what your plan is, then you are 100% you are on perfect, 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 exactly. If you just did your a race, a 5K, 10K, or a half marathon, or whatever it is, I think, it's, I think it's absolutely pinpoint perfect to be doing a speed workout or really hard training run two days later. Good, good. Uh, I think it's funny. I really think it's funny. I can't tell you how many people I consistently hear doing that. I mean, it's, it's astounding. Okay. All right. Rest. Resting. Let yourself do a hard workout, do a hard race, and then let yourself rest until you're ready to do another hard workout or race. Well, number five here is people who I hear all the time complaining that their knee hurt or the, their ankle hurt or this thing hurt, something hurt, and yet they continue to run on it. 
uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, guess, I'm gonna guess that you're waiting for it to peak and for sure be injured. That's it. You're waiting for it to be a stress fracture, something, tendonitis, that's what it is. So uh, if that's not your goal, then when you feel something hurting, you need to, you need to look into it, find out what's going on. Back off on your training a little bit. Go a little easier. Don't run as fast. Okay. Uh, so that's another one. When you you're, you you know listen to your body and let yourself rest and recover. Okay. All right. This is my bonus one here. Is if you're experiencing all of those things and you're not getting the performance that you want on race day and your training is not going exactly the way you you, you envision it. It the bonus tip here is you need to change what you're doing. If, you're, if you can continue to do what you're doing, you're gonna get the same results, okay? So if you don't, no change, no gain, okay? So anyway, that's my bonus tip. Uh, hope you take these things into account. Uh, if not, at least don't complain anymore. That would be great, okay? Just uh, go with the flow, I guess, all right. Anyway, this is Jeff. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll get to try to get these videos out to you more often. And uh, all right, as I always say, run well, live well. Thanks. Bye.